HIV stands for the Human Immunodeficiency Virus. It was a virus that was first seen in the 80s and at the time anyone who was discovered to be positive with HIV essentially would only have a couple of years to live because they would progress to develop something called AIDS. Now AIDS stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. A lot of people get confused between HIV and AIDS, are they the same thing? So take home message number one, HIV is not the same thing as AIDS. They are two very different things. As a matter of fact, you can have HIV and not have AIDS, and people can have immunodeficiency syndromes without having HIV. What happens in HIV is it attacks white blood cells. So if left untreated, those white blood cell levels can drop so far in your blood that uh, people can become really prone to infection. For this reason, AIDS is potentially life-threatening, and so, Thankfully, in the mid 90s or so, the treatment for HIV changed drastically and no longer is HIV considered to be terminal. So that's right, so they can actually take medication every single day, which fights the virus, keeps it at bay, and white blood cells can be unaffected. We still don't have a cure for HIV. Uh, and so I think it's very important we don't forget that HIV does exist and in parts of the world it is still very prevalent. Um, we need to be doing more research and putting more funding into finding a cure for HIV. But in the meantime, there are some excellent things to be aware of when it comes to prevention. Number one, condoms are a very good way of preventing HIV transmission. HIV is transmitted through body fluids, so it can be blood to blood, but it can also be transmitted through things like semen or vaginal fluids. That's why unprotected sexual intercourse is one of the modes of transmission of HIV, as well as other sexually transmitted infections. This brings me to important point number two. HIV can affect anyone. Once upon a time, HIV was rumoured to be a gay disease. Um, and that really came from the fact that the majority of people who were being diagnosed were men. Now the reason that was happening was because anal sex carries a much higher risk of transmission than vaginal sex. But don't be fooled because vaginal sex is still a very common way that HIV is transmitted, particularly today. So condoms is a really good way of reducing uh, HIV transmission from sex, but it not only uh, protects against HIV, it's also really good against other sexually transmitted infections, including things like chlamydia and gonorrhea, which are actually a lot more common than HIV anyway. Now, important point number three, PrEP is one of the best preventative measures against HIV. So what is PrEP? PrEP stands for pre-exposure prophylaxis. Now, you can check out my video on PrEP after this one by clicking the link at the end of this video. But just quickly, PrEP works by effectively treating somebody before they get exposed to the infection. So in other words, we give a dose of antiviral medication like we would give to somebody who has been infected by HIV, and we would give that to somebody who is at risk of exposure to HIV. And my final point today is that HIV is a chronic infection. Many of you will have friends or family who might um, have been diagnosed with diabetes and need to have injections every day, or they have very bad asthma and need to take puffers every day. All of these things that are treated over a period of time and don't necessarily have a cure, we call them chronic infections or chronic disease. And HIV is one of these. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like me on Facebook and Instagram. If you wanna share this video, I'd be absolutely delighted. Give me a sing out uh, by tagging me in your post. And uh, don't forget to watch my next video on PrEP.